What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day Blind. In the last episode, we ran into some dung beetles in this area who said that they were getting attacked by a monster that we were going to go investigate now. And you can tell we're in the, really in the heart of this mountain of poo, which is pretty on point. Wait, go on. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Sweet corn. Bring me some sweet corn. Who's that? Can't see anyone. Hmm. Okay. That's what he went. <laughs> oh boy. Is it just gonna Is he aiming for me? You should aim for the sweet corn if you're gonna, you know, randomly do that. Oh, I guess I can't use that context sensitive button just yet. Well, I guess in the meantime we'll try to catch up to the sweet corn. I don't know where we're bringing it. Maybe this way? Oh, yeah, I guess so. In you go, sweet corn. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I love the little eyes. Reminds me of the cheese. Yikes. That seemed rather painful. All right, well, I guess we'll keep going this way and seeing if there's more sweet corn to get. Oh, so it looks like globs of poop are falling from the ceiling and attacking us, which is never a good thing. And now we have two sweet corn to get. It's also worth noting there's another context sensitive button but I don't know what context we're looking for just yet, because they don't seem to be active. So, it's alright, we'll, we'll figure it out. Just gotta avoid the hand for now. And in you go. You can join your brethren. <laughs> oh, no, no cutscene or anything? Aw oh, man, but it was pretty funny to see the last one. Can I move the camera? The camera in this game, I tell you guys. Alright, so we've got a branching path. What? is going on over there that seems rather interesting but importantly we have more sweet corn over here so I think this is where we should be going for the time being makes sense there are three over here demonstrating some nice progression of difficulty and challenge and consequently accomplishment I honestly feel like you kind of just have to wait and see where that hand is going to be because otherwise it's really difficult to actually dodge, right? Like, I had to be running at full speed there, so if I weren't already running at such a high speed, it would be pretty difficult to dodge. Conquer doesn't exactly gain speed very quickly, too. He also doesn't lose speed very quickly. He, like, slides a little bit with his momentum and stuff. See what I mean? I can I can run all the all I want, but I'm not gonna avoid that anytime soon. At the very least, I don't think I lost. Uh, I don't know if I'd lose the corn if I got hit while I was holding it, but we'll see. That should be all the sweet corn. Uh oh. <laughs> These sound effects. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my, that is certainly something. <laughs> I am the great mighty poo and I'm going to throw my shit at This is you. hilarious. A huge supply of tish comes from my chocolate starfish. How about some scat, you little twat? And, alright, it looks like we're under attack from a large singing pile of poop. Which is, you know, um, that's a new one. <laughs> oh, and so now he's over this way. Um, what can we, this is context sensitive? Yes. Toilet paper? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing right now? We're throwing toilet paper at the great mighty poo? Ah, uh, we have to wait for him to, uh... 
<laughs> we have to wait for him to open his mouth to like sing, and then we throw toilet paper in. Do you really think you'll survive in here? You don't seem to know which creek you're in. Sweet corn is the only thing that makes it through my rear. How do you think I keep this lovely grin? <laughs> Have some more caviar. So there's the indication that obviously we can't use that context sensitive button anymore. But this is this is hilarious, guys. The great mighty poo throwing a bunch of poop at us in this mountain of poop. Literally just like one large poo monster. I wonder, you know, somebody had to have had a lot of fun coming up with the design for this enemy. Oh, and so now we gotta throw from a little bit farther away. Which is good to know. Should I wait for the, uh... Oh, interesting! So he actually waited for us. I wasn't sure if I'd have enough time to do that. Should I head over this way now? I imagine... Oh, is that the where that context sensitive button is supposed to be? I think so. And this one isn't covered up yet, so I guess we'll head back and see if we can use it again. Maybe we have to go over here to get another little cutscene? Nope. Alright. Come on! Oh man. He's just running all over the place. Oh, what? That was so close. Where is he? Oh, he's right next to me. Go, 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 Conker. Where'd he go? Over here? Oh, that was so close. Alright, so we're gonna have to get off the context-sensitive button for now, I think. And wait for the next opportunity for him to sing. For us to throw toilet paper in his mouth. What a concept. I'm sure whoever created this enemy had an absolutely hilarious time with it. Where are you gonna show up? Oh, what, you're still throwing poo at me? When are you gonna open your mouth to sing again? Now? Come on. There we go. Oh, that was that was off the backboard. The ricochet. <laughs> Are we on the third verse now? Ooh, and the music picks up too. Now I'm really getting rather mad. You're like a niggly, tickly, shitty little tiger. <laughs> when I knock you out with all my bab, I'm going to take your head and ram it off my butt. Your butt. My butt. Your butt. That's right, my butt. Ugh. My butt. Ugh. My butt. The butt of literally what? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I was trying to jump and I couldn't jump while I was on that little mound of the context sensitive button. So I have to start this whole battle over again? Okay. Um, I guess so. But yeah, I was trying to jump there, and for some reason, I guess whenever Conquer is on a slope, uh, a specific type of slope, he can't do any jumping. And it seems like that was one such slope on the context sensitive button, which is quite disappointing if I'm honest. Again, I, I still am getting this impression of the game that it's a very funny game and an incredible experience, but from a gameplay, gameplay standpoint, it's a little bit lackluster. And so... Well, well, we'll skip this for now. As hilarious as it is, I do want to move on to the, the third verse. Because we were pretty much there. So we'll move on to the next round of attacks. And then those, those notes broke that mirror or glass or whatever it was. And next time we'll just jump over the, the covered context sensitive button so we don't have to worry about that. I love the little sound effects every time. This time we won't miss a whole bunch in the middle, so I think we'll be alright. Oh wait, he actually is still going to continue attacking, right? It's not over just yet. Oh, but he's uh, still flinging poo. He doesn't go into the, the sing animation just yet. In the meantime, I guess we'll pick up some chocolate. You gonna start singing again? Feeling rather musical? Want to exercise those, I don't know, dung-based vocal cords? It's just so funny to imagine, like, 
this this monster essentially that it's entirely poop right like he's talking about his own you know ramming conquers head up his butt or whatever but for all that talk it's like how do you have i don't know the butt of literally a mountain of poo like what does that entail all right so we jumped over at that time so hopefully we're in the clear and we can hover across and the the music is fast the mighty poo's throwing is also fast but we're doing all right for now. Try not to get too far from that context-sensitive button so that when the opportunity does arise to throw the toilet paper, which seems like now, we have the chance. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, so close. There we go. You almost gotta anticipate where it's gonna be. And I'd imagine last time we required two hits, right? And so the game in general has done this sort of progression thing where it's like, oh, first time you do something, you do it once. Then the next time you have the opportunity to do it, you do it twice. And then the next time you do it thrice, right? Uh, I forget from the previous episodes, but that's definitely been a recurring theme. In this particular battle, it was the, the sweet corn, right? And now it's going to be the number of hits we need to get in order to actually take out the great mighty boo. How did we... Oh no, we're not even near the context sensitive button. Let's see, he's probably gonna show up in this one next. Yep. Nice, we got it. Pick up some chocolate so we're nice and healthy. Cameras moving around quite a bit. Interestingly enough, the the poo throwing, the poo slinging. Oh, that's a that's a game, right? It's like poo slinger. Or something like that. It's a really rare game for the PS4. I saw a really funny video about its rather hilarious inception and production and why it's so rare. Come on. Yes. So that's three. So I think that should do it. <laughs> what a funny character. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, wait. We're going to be careful not to uh, run on the context sensitive button. And now we can head over towards that glass. And is that. Are we going to. Are we literally going to flush the great Mighty Poo? Is that how we're going to beat him? That's really funny. What a battle. What a battle. Oh, and of course, some cash. Lovely. Signifying we've we've completed this little task. It's funny with such, like, epic music in the background, too, of all things. Alright, let's give it a go. It's quite the monologue as you're going as well. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's got to be quite the plumbing. <laughs> now that's what I call a <laughs> That's really funny. But yeah, how is that not going to clog whatever he's flushed into? But clearly we've unlocked a new area. Wow, this game is this game is hilarious, guys. I've really enjoyed uh, so much of the humor, and since starting to play this game, I've actually had my own brother play this game a little bit too, just because I want to see his reactions to so much of the the comedic sequences that happen in this game. And I think one of the conclusions, what I jumped. I feel like again, I was maybe on one of those. Wait, what? I'm back here. Why am I back here? Is that where that platform would have led me? Maybe? Um, but one of the things that I was expecting with this game was the sort of collect-a-thon mentality similar to Banjo-Kazooie and such. But I feel like in terms of actually finding, you know, the cash and a lot of, well, I guess that is the collectible of this game, right? The game does a good job of just leading you to where you need to go to find it. It's not a game that's like, oh, you need to explore every corner of the area to find this hidden cache. It's 
cash is pretty much strictly a reward for doing story related events. And I'm sure there will be a few exceptions here and there, but it's largely, you know, for every cutscene you get, for every sequence you get. Also, interesting. They're the arrows. Exit. <laughs> okay. But what about over here? Oh, we're treated to a cutscene to bear at Barry's? He'd like to better have a good excuse this time. That is the last time he stands me up. Conquer. I've had a just about up to... <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Look, whatever it is you're selling, I'm just not interested. Well? Uh-oh. Are they going to try to blackmail Conquer? Not blackmail, but are they going to kidnap Barry? And bait Conquer with her? Uh-oh. That's not good. So this is this is the plumbing that held in the great Mighty Boo. Is there anything around here? I was just talking about how, realistically speaking, the game doesn't push you to, you know, explore and dig for hidden cash opportunities or anything. It's more a sequence of story events. But oh, so something interesting is after that we after we had that confidence thing, um, that confidence drink. Whoa, there's a lot going on down here. It's a little bit more gruesome looking than uh, Clanker's Cavern. Come on. Head on up. We're going to refresh real quick. What are we dealing with down here? Looks like a lot has gotten chopped up down here. Okay. Oops. What? That's an insta-kill? An insta-kill? I didn't even like... Like, I swear, I just hit the side of it, too. Like, the flat part of the blade. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I guess. At least, I think they understand that the gameplay of this is going to be a little bit rough. So they provide us with an extra life each time, which is cool. Um, but, okay. So I think I should be good if I go through like this. Yep. Alright, we'll keep going. We're through. This last one looks a little bit faster. Not sure how to handle this one. But I gotta move. <laughs> okay, that last one is really fast, and it's so difficult. Depth perception in this game is a struggle. So it's tough to tell exactly where I am in relation to the blade, but I think we're just going to kind of go for it. Because, yeah, I don't think we can really afford to take that much time. So we went through like that. We can keep going like this. We'll go this way and then through. Nope. I thought we were close enough, but but alas. It's funny, the the sort of like excessively bloody deaths in this game remind me of I Wanna Be the Guy. I don't know if you guys have heard of that game or or played it yourselves. But it's an incredibly it's one of those unfair, difficult platformers. It definitely has its fair challenges that require excellent platforming. But it has that sort of um like unfair platformer vibe where it's like Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting. Literally just walking into the side, swimming into the side of the platforms, touching the blades at all gets you killed. Which I think is is pretty bad. Um, it should really only be if you're caught in the blades, you know, getting hit by the, the sharp edges as they're spinning. But nevertheless, it's one of those platformers that, you know, has a lot of like tricks, unconventional surprises that trick the player into, I guess, running into what they wouldn't expect while playing the game. And that's ultimately what leads to a lot of your deaths. And then you have to figure out what all those tricks are, memorize them, and then expertly platform around them in order to progress in the game. So it's, you know, an interesting mix of the two. But, anyways, I don't, I don't even remember how I got on that topic, but here we are, trying very hard to swim through this area. I feel like I need to just come up with sort of like a timing slash pattern strategy, right? Where I find one path that I can take and if I just spawn and immediately, you know, go to the, the tail and then hop in the water, every single time I'm going to get the right cycle, you know? I feel like that's what it's going to come down to. So let's see here. Going through the middle here seems fine. Okay. And then I think we can go middle again, and we can go middle again. I had to delay a little bit there, but let's hope we don't die. Conker's looking rather blue at the moment. We're going to go to the side of this little platform area.
because it looked like there was a blade spinning in the center. There isn't, so that must be above where we are. Okay, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Cool, then we are in the clear for now. We'll swim on out of here and see just where are we. Okay, so it seems we have some more platforming to do. What are, what are those? Oh, those are blades themselves, aren't they? Okay, I wonder, I can honestly probably hover over there. I'd rather do that than try to platform and, and jump around those blades on the ground with the camera moving around or not moving around, uh, contrary to what I'd like. Where are we? Are we in a volcano or something? Can I look around? Thank you. So, oh, we've got uh, a couple friends waiting for us, intercepting us, preventing us from moving where we'd like. Danger poo. Is that somewhere I can go over there? I'm curious. So I'm going to carefully come over this way. I guess maybe this is a shortcut into the, the poo area or something. I don't think I want to go down there at the moment. Yeah, that's where we just came from. Okay, great. So I'm glad we confirmed that. <laughs> so I'm not concerned about any collectible I missed. Again, even though I'm mentioning, of course, that uh, I don't think the game is designed around that. But how how in the world would we get up there? Right? I guess from up there, you can platform across that arch to get over to that tail. Interesting. I guess it's worth... It's a good thing we noted it. But let's see what our friends here have to say to us. Um... Can I get past? No. You'll have to pay. Um, the toll. Yes. <laughs> a toll. How much? Um, oh, a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? Do we have a thousand? Five hundred each. Come on. Can we haggle? Look like it looks like what he got it. Yeah. Looks like kind of a purple. Skidaddy. Oh, a thousand dollars. Oh, that means I gotta go back that way. Oh, and more importantly, it means we're gonna have to come back this way. Um, straight up. What did they look like? Well, well I can't remember. Yeah, I'm sure I could come back. But let's keep guarding. Something that's a little bit frustrating uh, about this this game is the audio. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's kind of like a high pitch humming sound whenever there's, you know, voiced lines. How much money do we have? $700. Okay. And we've really gotten, I think, all the money that we have the opportunity to get from everywhere we've been as we've been going through it. The only thing I can think of is the cash on top of the, you know, um, Pooh Mountain, <laughs> for lack of a better term. If we fall in the water, we should survive, right? Yeah, okay, nice. Then I guess we'll head on back, and unfortunately we'll have to swim through those blades again in order to get back once we have a few hundred more dollars. But I do remember there being a, um, what's it called? Another little ladder we could have climbed in the, the poo area, so maybe we were meant to explore that before getting through the poo mountain. So let's head on over there and see what we find. Otherwise, we may have to just explore some other areas of the world. What is this? Hmm. Get the impression somebody doesn't want me to be here. <laughs> they certainly don't want me to go that way. Um, think I'll go that way. <laughs> Clearly, Conquer has played some JRPGs before. You know, it's like in the game whenever you realize, oh, this is where the story progresses. So, I'm not going to go that way. Is it safe, I wonder? Hmm. Let's find out. <laughs> I wonder, will it be safe? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's about to. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ah, heck. It's not like I'm going that way just yet. Alright, well. Doesn't look like we're going that way, then. Then maybe we have to explore some other area of the Pooh universe. 
Actually, no, I don't think there are any other areas to explore the Pooh universe. So, we'll head on back out to the overworld and see what we can find there. Unfortunately, that last plank broke. This kind of looks like the castle, so maybe that's somewhere we'll have to go much later in the game, actually. Alright, well, in the meantime then, I guess we'll keep on hunting around. I'm not exactly sure how to get on top of, you know, like, how could I get that, for example, that cache? Or the, um, the cache at the top of Pooh Mountain? Do I have to fly over from Pooh Mountain? You know, that's an option. It's all I can think of, so maybe I'll actually try that first. I love this song. I will say, as hilarious as the track is for Pooh Mountain, I don't even know if that's what it's called, but Pooh Mountain, I really do like the overworld theme, so I, I miss it quite a bit. This track is great in its, in its own right, <laughs> but it's certainly a, a different great from that of the overworld. Okay, so where is that money? It's over here. So I'm actually going to want to be on this floor, or this level. Can I please look? Thank you. Okay, I think... I think this is a good level. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. Oh no, there's no way I'm making it over there. Wait, what? I died in the water? I thought... Oh, man. Alright. Oh, so we spawn here, where we entered the world from last. Alright, I guess that's good to know. But, so that's not going to lead us to that cache. To my knowledge. So we'll have to come up with some other way of going about it. And I doubt a uh, long jump, or like a high jump here into hover is going to help much either. No, it's not. I think if anything, I might actually have to just know where it is, and then get on top of that platform there, and then fall into it. Something like that. Again, this is more of a game that... I don't know, you uh... <laughs> You don't fret too much about super skilled platforming being what's preventing you from accessing, I don't know, something. It's more story based than anything. Can we deal with this worm yet? This worm just devastates us each time, right? What? That was all I needed to get past it? Those things are so intense. And I, when I got, like, the, if I get just even a little bit close to them, they attack me. So I didn't even think I had the, the leeway to get close enough to hit them with the frying pan. Wow, that's kind of crazy to think about, that all this time I could have gone this way and had no idea. Are we close enough? Come on. What? Seriously? You guys see in this? I'm not going insane, am I? Alright, well, we're just gonna jump over them, I guess. Or maybe we have to, like, sneak past them? I don't know. Yeah, I, it looks like that's the solution. Interesting. I would not have in a million years... Wait, what? They threw us off that way? Oh, that's what I get for being impatient. But all right, I guess we learned of a new area we can go to. I really thought I was gonna need like a specific item or move to get past them or something. Where's this one? Or did we get rid of it because we hit it? No, we didn't. Ah, oh, it shows up so fast. It's like I can't even, you know, see it yet and I'm already having to jump. Seriously? By the time they show up, it's it's too late to try to react, so you almost just have to go painstakingly slow. Or what, what happens if I run? Can I run past them? Nope. I 
And now I'm just one away from, you know, dying. So I guess we'll, we'll very slowly approach. There should be one more. This is the one that got us last time. And there's a barrel. What's a barrel doing here? Oh. Who are those guys? Oh, hello there. Um, and what do you do then? <laughs> It'll cost you. Oh, how much? A lot. Come back when you got more money. Go on. On your bike. What? What? So I did all of that? <laughs> I did all of that <laughs> to find out I just need more money. So how am I going to get more money? How am I going to get more? Oh, I was trying to move the camera. Now I'm dead. I was just trying to move the camera so I could see off there, but no. Okay. We'll look elsewhere. Not sure where we're going to find more money yet, but we'll hunt around. It's worth noting we are very dangerously low on lives, too. And although, admittedly, there's not a huge punishment, to my knowledge yet, for a game over. So we'll exit out over here and see what we can find maybe in this water. Anything of interest here? Oh my goodness! What the heck is going on? What are those? That, that door is at least open. Which is interesting. So it's somewhere we can presumably go. I'll try to avoid these things. What the heck? They hit me so far away whenever they see me. And they don't look like they're that, you know, harmful. At oh, they spawn there? Maybe? What, what is going on? All right, we're, we're probably gonna die, but this is an area that I see myself being able to go to. Those things swim around. Ah, so that's what they are. I guess I should try like following them in the water. That way I'm least likely to trigger them, I think. What? What? How did that see me? I was a decent distance behind it. So, I mean, game over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the game over is different. Each time, I probably shouldn't have skipped it then. But, what? I'm so confused by that. I guess, like, the only thing I can think of is maybe... No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and it doesn't seem like I can jump over them either. I guess what I can try to do is take advantage of starting off up here as much as possible. And look at that! From like super far away, they just immediately locked onto me. It's like it was more about me just being close than anything else. Right? Because right now they're not even... That one, I guess. Wasn't paying mind to me. Yeah, I hear you, Cash. I hear you. Do I have to go underwater? Is that the... Is that the way to go? We'll see, I guess. We'll see if it's enough. Maybe that's the... Uh, what? They can get me underwater, too? Oh. So now I have to wonder, is this something I just shouldn't be able to access currently, or is it something I'm doing incorrectly? Because I feel like I should be able to access it, right? But it doesn't seem like going underwater or above water is, is effective. And I am at, pretty much, that land area in the middle right now that I thought might be a little might offer a little bit of refuge but I guess I'll wait for their cycle to go around a little bit more and try one more time otherwise I'll I don't know investigate other options 
So let's see here. If I go this way now... Yeah, I, I, I bet it's location-based. Because they just go crazy as soon as I get close to the door. Which makes me think that I just can't get to the door right now with, with what I have. Which is a real shame. Alright, well, I guess we'll keep on heading down the river. Yep, I hear you, Cash. Pick up the much-needed chocolate along the way. See if there's anything else in the river of interest. Doesn't seem so. Alright, well, we'll pick up the extra life and see if maybe there's something we could do with the wasps. Maybe? Over in the, the nasty section of the overworld? Or if maybe this door has opened for some reason? I don't know why it would. And I'd imagine there'd be a cutscene when it does. But... Hmm. Anything going on over here with the wasps? We can maybe bait this guy to come out. Can I get up here? I can. So this is pretty interesting. Oh, so that's how I get that cash. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Bikers can't be choosers. Cool. Laughing all the way to the bank. Awesome. Hmm. We went in there already. Is there something I missed in there, maybe? I don't know. But for what it's worth, that also seems to point that there isn't actually a a world, right? Um, associated with the, the beehive. Maybe I can go underwater here? Can I go underneath this? No. Alright, well, do you have anything more for us, Queen Bee? There was the cash over this way. How much cash did that give us? 100? Okay, yeah, I mean, that seems to be the typical amount that we would get. How would we get that cash that's close to the beginning again? You guys remember? You know, all the way behind the waterfall? There's some cash, but I don't know how to get it yet. I don't know. I'm trying to think about it, though. Because there's that cash, and there's the cash on top of the Mountain of Pooh. And that would put us at, I think, a thousand. Yeah, that would put us at a thousand. So if we can get both of those, we'll be alright. That would presumably be all of the stuff that's available to us. Do I need to do something with this? I wouldn't think so. But maybe, given it's still available... What happens if I hit the beehive? <laughs> it seems to be a little bit upset. But other than that, I mean, nothing exceptional. I could go back to that area, but again, I don't see any further opportunities for money in that sort of, you know, barn area. So all I can think of is... Can I maybe climb this? Can I stand on the ball of poo? I can. So maybe... I mean, I tried standing on the ball of poo at the top of the mountain before, but... Didn't exactly work. I'll try it again, though. And see if I can get that cash that way. And maybe it was just kind of like the weird slope of the enlarged ball of poo or something. We'll take this hit and be fine. Yeah. I'd rather just impatiently go up the mountain at the moment. <laughs> okay. That's where that huge dung beetle was that we, we blew up with TNT that we put inside the dung ball. 
Literally. Okay. Can I jump on it? Okay, I can. For some reason, I had a lot of trouble doing so <laughs> from the the enlarged jump or like the high jump as opposed to the regular one. But <laughs> now we get a zoom in of uh, Conquer with the gas mask as he's getting the money, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and it's even muffled because of the gas mask. That's pretty funny. All right, well, while we're up here. I guess we can take a look at the world around us and see if see what's going on. Um, I don't know what the draw distance is going to be like in this game. Maybe a little bit rough given how some of those far textures look, but not awful. We're only missing a hundred dollars more, and there's potentially that area there, and there's that cache at the very beginning of the game. So that's all I can really think of. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna jump over to this water and see how it goes. Hopefully we actually fall in the water. We didn't, but we did not die, surprisingly, because we implanted in the poo, I guess. All right, we're gonna try this again. Because I can't think of anything else. Hmm. I'm gonna wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. All right, let's see now. Come on, conquer. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yeah, even if I'm in the air, they just do not hold back in the slightest. Get out of there, conquer. Wow. Um, so they're pretty eager to attack me. It seems somewhat proximity based, but I bet that I need to drain it somehow. Well, maybe I drew the fish or whatever over in that... Oh, no. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I was thinking that maybe they had been drawn over to the other end of the pond, and so I could get the other way. I probably have to open up that drain at the bottom somehow, but I'm not really sure how just yet. <laughs> it seems like it would be something, you know, for the job of a context-sensitive button, but... I don't see any of those nearby. Maybe... Oh, maybe it was in that area. That little refuge area is what I, what I keep referring to it as. Sort of like in the alcove of the, the Mountain of Pooh. Let's see. I don't think there's anything more to uh, explore in those honeycombs. For now, at least. So we'll let those guys swim along a little bit, and then we'll go over this way. There's one guy here, and I cannot for the life of me attack him, but I feel like I need to get that that switch or whatever it is in there. Even though it's being guarded. Is it possible for me to sneak by or something? So I'm here. Even with a high jump, I'm not getting past that. Okay, okay, message taken, game. Message, message received. So what we can do is we'll head back to the waterfall and maybe troubleshoot the waterfall a little bit. See if we can find anything interesting there. Because at the moment, that's literally the only cache I know about. I would be surprised, though, if in order to progress the story, I would have needed to have literally gotten every bit of cash available up until this point, right? Like, you'd think the game would be lenient with the collectibles. Alright, so we're gonna fall. Where, where am I? Oh! 
no falling was done. So maybe, maybe our gargoyle friend can can help us out, or yep, I hear you, bud. So the question is, how how do we get you? Is there maybe like a hidden entrance or something? Do I have to hit the gargoyle again? You know, wake up, I'm hitting you with a frying pan. Can I go underwater somewhere? No? Alright, well then the only other thing I can think of is maybe there's a second entrance in the waterfall. Right? So there's obviously the, the gated part at the bottom, but maybe... Just maybe... Actually, I'm going to check over here as well, because now I can swim underwater. So I might be able to find something else, but now I don't see any area that I can now access because I can uh, swim underwater. So yeah, my, my question then is, is there another place where I can enter the waterfall? And it does not seem like it. Oh, maybe. Where did I just land? Where am I? Oh, I'm I am on this little lip of the uh, the waterfall here. I guess that's a good way to check, right? And I don't see anything like that. So Yeah. So there's got to be some other way to get behind it, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be here. So the real question is going to be how do we, I don't know, make some entrance somewhere else, right? Sorry, birdie. Can't even wake him up with a context-sensitive button. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we'll platform our way up again. And head back to the overworld. Maybe I'll think on it a bit and get back to you guys when I finally figure something out. As I just backtrack and, and run around the previous places we've been. That opened up that door. So, yeah. I mean, I, I can't really think of much else at the moment. We've already kind of explored everything that comes to mind for me. So we'll pick up this extra life and... Oh, we have four now. Maybe that's the max or something. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to explore around a little bit and hopefully find something. I thought I might make it that time, actually. I got really close, but... Guys, I looked at the original level. I went through the whole Mighty Poo area and, and everything again, and... I don't know, guys. I went through the, the Prune Juice area. Picked up a couple extra lives along the way, obviously. And I can't really think of much. I think the only thing that I can think of is trying to get through to this door. And... We'll see how realistic that actually is. If I could stand up here, maybe, I'd have a better shot. But, I don't know. I really don't like that Conker just, like, walks down any slope he isn't comfortable standing on. Anyways. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on trying this, I guess. Ineffectively, it seems. I'm like still swimming there. I thought it was like more of a platform I could work with, but it turns out it's still just kind of swimming, which is not exactly effective. Oh, and they're already onto me. I thought I avoided it there, which was going to be a revolution, but um, a breakthrough of sorts. Let's see, how do I avoid these things? It seems like it's sight-based. Like, they, as soon as they see me, they lock on and, and get me, but... I don't know. What if I try dropping down from here and hovering in? 
Maybe that'll get me into that area where there's maybe like a switch or something, or I don't know. Oh man, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh man, they just sent me so far away when they hit me. Maybe I should try to get this one to hit me in the direction I want to go. Alright, well that was ineffective. Jump and hover, jump and hover. Oh man. They keep sending me back there, which is probably by design. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm probably going to look up either what that thousandth dollar is going to be or how to get that waterfall money because I'm getting kind of tired of just wandering around aimlessly. So... Maybe we'll just call it here and say that before the next episode, I'll look up or ask for help with regards to what the next thing I can actually do is. You know, is that water area something that I can even access at the moment? Am I wasting my time? Is the waterfall money something I can access at the moment, or am I wasting my time? You know, what, what should I be doing? What can I be doing? I'd like a little bit more direction than what I have right now, in the interest of time. So. All right, uh, we fought the Great Mighty Poo, which was quite the experience, and I think completed Poo Mountain, if that's even what it's called. And so that was that was pretty interesting, and I'm really eager to move on to the next world, right? We saw that bridge, we, we swam through those blades uh, begrudgingly, and made our way towards a new world that requires $1,000, so I'm eager to see what lies beyond that, right? And unfortunately, Barry got captured, so we gotta go rescue her. But of course, all that's gonna be in the next episode. But until that next episode, this is Night Zero, and this mission is complete.